Hey Glam Crew, we are in the beautiful country of Panama. If you are new here to my channel, make sure you subscribe if you are into traveling and saving coins at the same time. I do not gatekeep and I will be dropping all of the secrets on how I did a three day trip to two countries all for about $800. I'm splitting this up into two parts and this video will be all the details on what I did in Panama. So make sure you subscribe, drop me some comments if you have further questions or details or anything that I may have forgot. Don't forget to watch the full video so you don't miss out on any tips and tricks that I share. Now this definitely can be done cheaper, but this was a last minute trip and over a holiday weekend that I planned. I enjoyed a beautiful dinner and show and night out at the club. Stay tuned for all the details. Thank you. Y'all, I almost shit myself because my gate got changed. It got changed two hours ago, but I just so happened to look at my emails. Ooh, it's bright over here. <laughs> yeah, I just so happened to look at my email just now. But look at their waiting area. They got like little charging ports in the seats. They have like right here, you can sit down. So I'm flying out of Orlando and let me tell y'all, this is way better than Atlanta. I thought getting through TSA was gonna take a while. I know I need to get here three hours early. Mm -mm. Not at all, not at all. You know why it was quick? Not because this is a smaller airport or because Atlanta just has so much traffic. It's because they had workers sitting at every desk checking IDs. They have signs clear. The workers are telling clear instructions on what to do a mosquito bit me on the forehead <laughs> i'm so sad i'm about to do my nails in the airport see so they look like this but oh some dirt under here i'm about to go to the bathroom and go find the bathroom first and wash my hands then i'm gonna do my nails look at this big plane right here Yeah, so, and I got a new selfie stick. So, I'm gonna go wash my hands. And I ended up switching bags because I just wanted to bring more stuff. And I'm like, I'm not even gonna be gone that long. But if an outfit get hot and sweaty, I gotta take it off. <laughs> if I spill something on my clothes, I gotta take it off. I can't be like, oh, I don't have enough clothes. I need options. And what if I like decide to go somewhere else? So, um, let me show y'all the bag I ended up bringing. This is the bag I ended up bringing. Still a carry-on size. So, I'm about to do my nails, but look at this. My phone is not charging, right? Charging. So, cool. so here I am on Copa Airlines and I am just loving my experience with them. Even though this trip was last minute, I'm so happy and excited that I decided to still book a trip and go somewhere being that I had the time off and a babysitter. Now going into Panama, they still use paper. So most countries have switched to online immigration and custom forms. You get a paper on the plane, fill it out, and when you get to the airport, they will check everything there. Now, Copa Airlines does offer a stopover program where you can stay in Panama a few days longer and you don't have to pay extra. I chose just to stay for my little 12 hours and then move forward on my way to Colombia. Check out their website for that free program. There was plenty of room for my bags. I had this whole row to myself 
And I've never flown Copa Airlines, y'all. They feed you. They give you a snack. They give you juice. They give you water. They give you coffee. I got a full meal. I thought I was doing something, bringing my own snacks. Like when I fly on Frontier, where you don't get no leg room, no snack, no water, nothing. Y'all, Copa Airlines have, have changed my life. I'm about to go everywhere with them. My flight literally was $447. Now, like I said earlier, you can do this cheaper if you book a little bit more in advance, but this was last minute and it was on a holiday weekend. I got bit by a mosquito and yeah, so I'm going to be vlogging with this ugly little mosquito bite on me, but okay, the rest of the skin is glowing. Y'all, look they have tvs and they gave me free headphones can you believe it look at this meal y'all now this was coming from orlando to panama and they even gave me more juice they gave me cupcakes this food was delicious i smashed it i enjoyed my movie i enjoyed my view i had space i didn't have no trouble the airline attendants were very helpful very mindful very demure is that what y'all seeing nowadays is that what y'all seeing is that how it go is that how it go <laughs> panama 10 out of 10 i'm going back look that food i tore it up I tore it up, y'all. Y'all, I put my mask on because they was coughing like crazy all on the plane. So where I'm going, right, the Uber wanted to charge me $59. I negotiated with my tax. $45. But you trip over there. The people in Panama are so nice and friendly. They do exactly what they are going to say. No funny business. My taxi driver gave me a little tour of the city. So we are walking around the streets of Panama, y'all. This is where I'm about to go to. So let's check it out. <laughs> Y'all, this restaurant is so cute. Mm, like so the DJ is asking people where they from and then asking like, what song should I play from the country? So these people said they were from Barbados. And he said, what music? They said soca. So he's about to play soca music and you gotta get up and dance.
the most amazing dinner and show experience here check out their instagram they have different themed nights throughout the week they are located in amador which is about a 45 minute drive from the airport there is a panama sign located right outside of the restaurant and you can catch beautiful views of the panama canal right here from their rooftop there is also a little bike rental shop outside where you can rent different style trikes and ride and catch sweet treats along the canal. We are now about to head to the club. This music. So let me show y'all what's going on outside. I enjoyed people watching as I sat and waited for my Uber. You will see a lot going on on the streets. Uber is very affordable and safe to use here as well. There was somebody just riding down the street in uh, Audi. I always say those wrong. Hanging out the top roof. About to go see what this club life about. I'm in town for one night only. I'm waiting on my Uber. I gotta go because this music is gonna kill my video. I love the clubs in Panama, especially versus Colombia. If you don't like a vibe, literally you go next door or next door or next door. All of the clubs are lined up with different vibes, grown and sexy. I even brought my bags with me into the club and was comfortable with my stuff right there and had a good night. I tried out another club, Chaputos, which is a very popular club that gives you your shots on fire. I tried to get there early, but I loved the first place so much that I didn't leave on time. And Chaputos was very packed. I walked down the street and around the corner and came here to Flow Gallery, and I loved the vibe. At one point, they did get a little bit busy, 
but still they allowed me to keep my seat with my bag on it and I had plenty of room to dance. They always made sure to check on me and make sure I was good. I felt very safe there. None of my stuff came up missing and I had a good night. Hi. I like this song. As you can see, everybody was still out on the streets and partying well into the early morning. From the club to the airport, I paid 25 US dollars. I got to the airport, took me a whole bath, a bird bath, a freshening up, whatever y'all want to call it. Go ask your mammy. Hmm. And then I got ready to get on my flight to Columbia. All right, all right. I guess this is the only aisle I'll be walking down. I once heard a guy say he likes single moms because as soon as they don't have kids, all they want to do is eat and F-U-C-K. Mm-mm, not this one. Because as soon as I don't have a kid, I want to travel. When I say team no sleep, team no sleep i'm going country to country party to party and doing as much as i can baby ain't no budget when i travel and i still did this for about eight hundred dollars so stay tuned for part two thank you for watching